everyone, it's Matt. Um, just wanted to uh, show you guys what I have been up to. Um, <clears throat> not in the train room, I'm actually in my garage. I have uh, started a new layout. Um, no, this is not replacing the one that I have upstairs. Um, what I am doing is, because of where I live uh, here in South Carolina, uh, the train shows, we don't really have a lot of operating layouts, so... I've decided to take it upon myself and build a uh, N-scale layout that I can uh, take to shows, operate on, have trains running back and forth, uh, you know, just kind of have a little bit of fun and uh, show off what you can do. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I've done. Uh, I just finished up soldering all the track today. Um, I still have to uh, drop all the leads and uh, solder those in, but uh, for the most part, this is what I have. Uh, so because this is going to be a, uh, uh, show layout, I have these, uh, L brackets that are actually going to hold up the, uh, the backdrop that, uh, is going to go back here behind there, so on and so forth. Um, just so that that way, you know, it's not going to be, you know, kind of lazy just sitting there. Um, <clears throat> but it's all this, this layout is made module. Uh, the legs come out. And I'm going to build a uh, rack that all these uh, pieces can slide in on. And that way I can take it to shows and show everyone what you can do. Um, so here's what I've got so far. <clears throat> so this is going to be one of the little towns. As you can see, I've got uh, the road right here. Kind of comes up to the T-intersection. Um, I got a uh, Walther's kit here. Uh, city classic kit here that uh, I have to just put the roof actually on and do some interior detailing on. Um, but then the road will kind of come up and go into the backdrop and into the backdrop and disappear. I have a little uh, true weld building here so that that way you, know, you can have a couple little things out here that are being welded. Um, I'm gonna have a uh, church and a uh, cemetery right over here. Um, got the one little house. And then the road, whoop, as I just knocked that over, and then the road just kind of curves, goes across there, and goes across off the layout. Um, and then again, all right there, that, that line right there is actually going to be the backdrop, so the tracks will go through and go around. So you've got, right here's the, the main line coming around. And so then that one just kind of comes up. You've got a cross over here, or you can continue. And right here is where it, I'm going to plan. Right here is where it comes on to the rest of the main and continues on. Uh, this is an overview of uh, what I'm doing on this layout. Uh, <clears throat> so basically, this is that one section that you see. Um, you know, there's. A couple little things that have changed over here. Um, this is just kind of a, you know, thrown together kind of to see what I've got, what I can do. This is the uh, next section. And so this is one section right here. Then this is another one. So on, so on, so on, and the last one. But I only have these three built right now. Um, I have all the wood cut for the rest of it, but you can see how this one was set up. Then you're coming along with this and you've got part of the yard, which is right back here. So entering and exiting the yard, you have a uh, re-railer come along. The uh, tracks on this side are for, uh, uh, you know, like staging tracks. And then the ones over here are uh, classification ones. Uh, the track right back here is going to be a, a programming one. And then, you know, you got your engines that you can sit right there. Um, caboose track or whatever. The main ducks behind the yard and continues and goes off into the next section. As you can see how right here it'll cut around, come back, and back around. So this is all made so that that way... I can expand this later on right here and here if I want. Um, I am gonna put in a, another reversing track right there so that that way I have one reversing loop here 
and another one that will continue off to right there. Just so that that way I can uh, turn trains around, um, so that, that way they're just not running in one direction the entire time. Uh, so pretty much this section I've already gotten down with where the uh, roads will be. Um, you know, I got that all drawn out. Um, the building's kind of marked off and in place of where they're going to be. Uh, yeah, so the, the next step is to put the, uh, um, the, uh, uh, the wire drops down and solder those in and then paint all the track. And then once that's done, then I can start doing the scenery work and doing everything else. Um, but just because of, uh, for ease, uh, to like get over to this track, uh, when I was soldering, I did not, uh, want the, uh, backboard up so that that way I could get to it. Uh, for example, I mean, this is how it's going to be, you know, right here. So you can't really, so you can't really see, you know, the other side when you're down at this, you know, when it's actually there. Um, this track right here. These two are uh, just the main line of another railroad that, uh, uh, just to add a little bit of interest, uh, you got a double diamond here. You know, I'm going to have a uh, uh, interlocking tower there. You have a interlocking track right here, which I can put, you know, a couple cars here, you know, during the show, just to kind of show what you can do, you know, as far as, uh, you know, interlocking in with different railroads. Um, the wood that's all right here is actually for the next uh, um, three sections, the last parts. Right here, when these are switched like that, this is going to be for the reversing loop. Or I can pull the train out here, come, come in, and then uh, uh, come back and switch the wharf. Right here is my river scene. Um, I kind of have it built up so that, you know, the track kind of comes out all the way uh, uh, to the bridge. This will be up on a uh, uh, 1 16th of an inch uh, piece of uh, basswood. Um, no, the, the bridge does not work. Um, what I will do, though, is um, I'm going to be putting some uh, marker lights in. So <clears throat> basically coming out is going away from the harbor, going in. So you'll have the red right and then the uh, green left. So, you know, for everyone who is maritime, you know, when you think about it, it's red, right, returning. So I'll have the uh, red light hanging here and the green light hanging there for the uh, channel markers. Then uh, over here on this bank, I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm thinking about putting a fishing camp, not too sure, um, but just kind of add a little bit of interest with that. So you've got that, then this will continue on. This will go to the reversing and then this will continue on the main line uh, <clears throat> onto the next section. And now this is what I have, this is how I've been making it. So what I've done is because I've taken uh, three quarters of an inch plywood and cut it down to three inch strips from there, I then ended up uh, looking at what I could do. So this is my cut diagram. And so you can see how I have them all uh, uh, spaced out on what on what's coming out of each piece of the plywood, uh, how the legs are done up. And then as you can see, I don't know if it'll let me zoom in, um, but that's the, uh, the plywood on how that was cut for the six sheets. But with this, you can see I've got, um, whoop, sorry about that. Let's see if it'll resume. There we go. So you've got the yellow pieces, the green, gray, blue, red, brown. All of that correlates with these. These are each of the uh, sections. So what I have here uh, for this section up to right there is this. So you've got the leg. You've got all the yellow brackets going across every one foot two outer ones, and that right there is where the leg slips in. Same one here, and I still have to build one more of these exact ones, so there's three of these on the entire layout, and then 
the other one that I have, and you can see how it's, you know, the different color, the blue, the yellow, browns, and the reds, so that that way I know exactly where each piece goes. Um, you can see, you know, the one under there, that's the uh, corner module. All of these uh, uh, L brackets are all for, uh, these will all go onto uh, uh, each side to add an extra level of support uh, for when it's you know being moved around. Um, these are for uh, the legs. And uh, then I have all the different screws that I need for all of that, plus all the bolts to hold it all together. Um, so that's basically what I've been doing. Um, I can kind of show you what the, what the plans are right here for this yard. So like I said, the side on right over here, these, uh, uh, so this track, so one, two, three, four are going to be all uh, um, staging tracks for, you know, trains that I can run at the shows just, you know, nonstop. And then I'll have the one runaround track. This is the main run through track. So this could be, you know, the arrival departure. And then these three tracks are for classification and then the run around. And just because, you know, I could, I put an icing uh, platform in. Um, this layout really doesn't have a actual era to it. So I just thought it'd be kind of cool just to include that. Um, you know, I've got a couple of these, you know, 40 foot box cars that are made for icing. So I just figured why not add them in and kind of show a little thing that you can do with, uh, um, you know, little modeler's license. So right here, I have to replace this piece with this Y. This is the main. And then this is that secondary reversing loop that I was talking about before. So basically what I have set up for this is... I have enough room right here that you can put a couple of uh, boxes out so that that way you can get stuff onto the track so that that way, uh, you know, and every, if you've all been to shows, uh, you guys can uh, all attest to it. People will just throw their, uh, uh, their containers on top of the track. And I wanted to have a little bit of room so that that way you had some work area before you... Uh, came to the track to put all the, the cars on so that way you're not knocking any of the track around uh, not knocking any of the cars off or doing any damage so that's what I have set up for that and then you know of course you know you can just have the uh, locomotives just sit there you know so it's just uh, it's just one of these kind, kinds of layouts that you know just just to kind of Bring to shows and show everyone everyone what you can do. Have some fun with it. Um, you know, the uh, the wife is not too happy that I'm taking up the garage right now. But uh, I told her by the fall, uh, this layout will be uh, set up in the uh, uh, trailer uh, ready for uh, its first show. So, again, this is what I have built. These three sections. And these are the uh, last three that I have to build. Um, I've got a, uh, a large bridge that goes across that. That's going to be a, a deeper uh, river scene. Um, you know, and then, like I said, off of this comes up. That's going to be the next reversing loop. Um, I've got a, a small little uh, bridge, so the uh, uh, the cars will go under. So that's going to be a duck under right there. Um, I've got another uh, grain silo there. And then that can go off to, uh, you know, another uh, uh, section if I want to add on, or that can go off to another section. I, I wanted to make this so that that way, if I needed to, I could add more on or connect to, uh, uh, you know, build a, uh, um, build something that that way I could connect in with, you know, another style of, you uh, um, you know, railroad. So either, I know that this is all code 80, um, but if I could, I could uh, uh, match these up with uh, um, Fremo or make a uh, connection for three tracks into uh, N track or to two to make it to T track. 
So I, I wanted to have an area that I could expand if I wanted to do so, or you know, if we had you know a large enough area that I could set it up. This layout itself is 29 feet by 19 feet. So it's quite a large layout, but I'm pretty happy with the fact that this will kind of show what you can do when you have, you know, a small little city here, a, a larger city right here, a lot of industry that you can switch on these two areas, some switching over here and the main yard, but you have a lot of open run areas. So, you know, like this is all going to be forested all the way up to the river and then forested again. And again, that's the uh, backdrop right along there. So, you know, I'll have a little uh, farm field there and kind of along the edges. But I wanted to make this so that that way, you know, I could take this to shows, either run it myself or, you know, there's a few other people that are uh, uh, down this way that, uh, you know, we do a T track together. Uh, we're all in a club. And if we wanted to, you know, we could, you know, have four or five, you know, even a couple more than that, uh, you know, running this layout and just kind of have fun. Uh, it's all going to be uh, DCC. Um, I'm also going to have a uh, uh, Raspberry Pi connected on here so that that way you can have more than four wireless devices attached. So, you know, that way you can have, you know, six, seven, eight, even more, uh, uh, you know, controllers going at one time and uh, just kind of have some fun with this. So that's what I have set up right now. So I hope you guys like this. Um, I will do an update on the upstairs layout, but I have not been uh, doing a heck of a lot on that because of uh, working on this layout. So, um, like I said, I just have to drop the feeders in and paint the track. I can start the scenery. And as soon as I finish this section off, then I'll build, I'll do this section, do that section, the one down there and then the, the two that go off to the side. Um, but I have to do this kind of in stages so that that way the wife will allow me to uh, keep working on this um, instead of have her park her car inside the garage. So um, with that being said, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this and I will uh, keep you guys up to date on uh, what's going on with this. So have a good one.